Hello and welcome. And thank you for your interest in urticaria and our recent review on chronic spontaneous urticaria with a focus on its pathophysiology and how that helps to unlock treatment advances. I'm um, very happy that this uh, review uh, has caught your eye. You should read it. Why? Because uh, we give you a broad perspective of chronic spontaneous urticaria, characterize its clinical, inflammatory, and gene expression. And with these transcription profiles of patients with CSU, we move towards um, suggesting key drivers of chronic spontaneous urticaria, cell types and intracellular pathways, also the interplay of the key drivers, cellular drivers of chronic spontaneous urticaria. And this leads us to reviewing the different immunological mechanisms that are at play in chronic spontaneous urticaria, and from that, the evolving landscape of novel treatment options under development. So go check this out. There's a lot of information from a lot of recent insight produced on the complex interactions, cellular interactions of uh, mast cells, of course, but also eosinophils and basophils, T and B cells in the pathogenesis of chronic spontaneous urticaria. Of course, we know that dermal mast cells are the key drivers and the understanding of pathways of activation of skin mast cells has emerged. We review all this, we discuss this, and in the end, we deduct strategies for clinical research, how to target mast cells, how to target the activation pathways of mast cells and other effector cells, the interaction of mast cells and eosinophils, and of course, the different endotypes of chronic spontaneous urticaria and their drivers. So, I... Uh, want you to read this paper, and it will give you ideas on clinical investigations of novel targets that's ongoing. Uh, it will provide you with an improved understanding of the pathophysiology of chronic spontaneous urticaria, and hopefully give you ideas and impulse to drive further research on the precise mechanisms underlying chronic spontaneous urticaria and especially angioedema in patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria where we just don't know enough yet. So go read this paper. These are our disclosures and have fun. Thank you.